resolution standing in my name. Whereas on the section 109 1A of the value added tax, Act Cap 15.4 to the Act, it provided that the Minister of Finance may, by order published in the Gazette, amend the schedules to the Act. And whereas it's further provided under Section 1092 of the Act, that an order made posted under Section 1091 of the Act is subject to an affirmative resolution of Parliament, except where the amendment is the customs tariff headings only. And whereas the Minister of Finance seeks approval of the draft value added tax, amendment of Schedule 3, number 2 order, to amend Schedule 3 of the Act by an affirmative resolution of Parliament to include as an exempt import for a period of two years, commencing from the second day of August 2023 and ending on the first day of August 2025, medi medical equipment for basic or advanced diagnosis, whether for purchase or for lease, a computerized tomography scan, a CT scan. I mean, Mr. Speaker, these are medical terms. Eh? And when I went to school, I didn't learn to be a doctor. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> and I wasn't allowed, as a teenager, general, to allow me to be a doctor friend. You refused. <laughs> so these are, are medical terms, Mr. Speaker. So, as, <laughs> the Minister of Health will speak and explain. <laughs> And whereas the Minister of Finance seeks approval of the draft value added tax, amendment of Schedule 3, number 2 order, to amend Schedule 3 of the Act by an affirmative resolution of Parliament to include as an exempt import for a period of two years, commencing from the second day of August 2023 and ending on the first day of August 2025, medical equipment for basic or advanced diagnosis, whether for purchase of a lease, a CT scan, endoscopies, upper gas gastrointestinal, lower gastrointestinal retrograde, cholan geopan cretography. Let me spell it, Mr. Speaker. C-H-O-L-A-N-G-I-O-P-A-N-C-R-E-A-T-O-G-R-A-P-H-Y. Atroscopy, hysteroscopy, cystoscopy, ultrasound, 3D, 4D, echocardiography, ultrasound, mammogram, coloscopy, fluoroscopy, CM, and MRI, magnetic resonance imaging. Be it resolved that Parliament, by affirmative, that really? Be it resolved that Parliament, by affirmative resolution, approves the draft value added tax amendment of Schedule 3, number 2 order, which amends Schedule 3 of the Act to include as an exempt import for a period of two years, commencing from the second day of August 2023 and ending on the first day of August 2025, med medical equipment for basic or advanced uh, uh, diagnosis, whether for purchase or lease for CT scan, endoscopy, Upper gas, gastrointestinal. PM, PM, you may do like a former leader of government business and simply say the same list that I read a while ago. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The same list that I read a while ago. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, in spite of the fact that I'm not a doctor, Mr. Speaker, and I'm not Dr. Freezers, <laughs> I I think this is because this is really a, a resolution that I'm proud of. And I'm sure the Minister of Health is also very happy about it, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, so many solutions have to travel abroad to get diagnosed for illnesses. Too many solutions, too many solutions, Mr. Speaker. And part of the reason why is because we don't have the equipment in St. Lucia for that diagnosis. Don't have the equipment, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, it comes as for every parliamentarian and every charitable organization, people come every day 
to want to go to Matnik for CT scan, to want to go somewhere for MRI, to want to go somewhere for diagnosis that we can do here if we have the equipment, Mr. Speaker. What is the complaint? The medical fertility says to you that they can't afford to buy the equipment because of the, of the taxes and the value of the tax. Like an MRI machine, Mr. Speaker. The value, the VAT on the MRI machine, because these, these, that equipment costs millions of dollars. So what we did, Mr. Speaker, and you know, and when we said that the budget was a budget for health and security, we, we meant that, Mr. Speaker. So what we are doing today is we are zero rating the VAT on all the equipment that is needed for these diagnoses. We take out the family speaker. Not before there was no VAT on the giving of the service. Now there is no VAT on the machine itself, Mr. Speaker. So the medical fraternity, fraternity can import these materials and pay no VAT and no health and security levy. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, what better statement that a government can make to support have service in the country, Mr. Speaker. And that decision was not made lightly because th there were some, some who said to us, some said to, to the Minister of Finance, these, these people can afford to bring that equipment because they charge to use it. But the government sought no. We sought no that we have to give them added incentive, Mr. Speaker. So the people who travel all the time, who have to go, have to pay the passage, who have to come and we hoping that the medical fraternity can invest in these machines and can do the tests necessary for the people of Selim Shem, Mr. Speaker. We really hope they can do that. So that we, and it's, it's a give and take. The government has paid its part. The government has removed the VAT. The government has re refused to impose the health and security levy. We hope that, and they've removed the, the VAT and the H health and security levy on the service. We really hope that the charges made to solutions are moderate. Yes. Because the government has paid its part, has paid its part, Mr. Speaker. Again, when you they tell you about with taxing health and security is tax, tax, tax. What we've done is actually the opportunity cost of these taxes. The government has waived it. And I'm sure people, people will understand what I mean by the opportunity cost. Because the revenue that the government has foregone is now an opportunity. It's an opportunity cost. That means that they would have had to pay it. They don't have to pay it again. So we hope, we, we hope that the consumer can benefit, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, that is a shot in the arm for health services in St. Lucia, Mr. Speaker. A shot in the arm. So the 2.5% we are, we are being asked to pay on certain goods, Mr. Speaker. Look at what you've got in return. Look at what the government is giving in return. The government is giving up all the VAT that had to be paid on that equipment, on, these, on that equipment. And that equipment is expensive, very expensive, Mr. Speaker. That is an investment in health, a confidence in the medical practitioners of the country, so they can invest in, 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 the, in, in that equipment and give the public of St. Lucia this needed service, Mr. Speaker. So no, long, no longer will we have to be running away, going away, paying a passage with, with, with the issues of in air travel, air transportation, so you can stay here and get diagnosed, get diagnosed Mr. Speaker. I'm sure the Minister of Health is pleased with, 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 that, with that resolution, Mr. Speaker. I'm sure all my colleagues are pleased, because all the time, every one of us, even a member of shows that I'm sure can see that experience, they have to come to ask him for money to go to do these tests abroad because the machine is not available in St. Lucia. So we, um, this is a testimony, Mr. Speaker, to the government's commitment to the health of the nation, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, very soon, Mr. Speaker, very soon, I'm going to, we're going to make, make a definitive and a progressive statement on St. Jude Hospital. Because, Mr. Speaker, the public of St. Lucia will see that this government is serious about St. Jude Hospital 
and St. Jude Hospital with the grace and the help of God will be completed for the people of the south of this country will be will be completed Mr. Speaker and I said without any fear or favor will be Mr. Speaker and then the people of St. Lucia will see what this government means when we say putting people first Mr. Speaker Mr. Speaker this is I'm very pleased Mr. Speaker very pleased very pleased to ask my colleagues members of the house to support this re this resolution to make these medical services more accessible and hopefully more affordable to the people of St. Lucia. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.